that silver look good. They can't get, they, they cannot allow the public to stampede into silver because if that happens, then gold blows. And when gold blows, so does the dollar system. Total global production of silver is only $20 billion. So it's a very easy market to control. And they absolutely have had to control silver going back uh, at least 30, 40 years because the dollar is in competition with gold. Gold is the anti-fiat, the anti-dollar. And you could, you, there's no way you could have silver running to 200, 300, 500 thousand dollars an ounce and gold not move. So in order to be able to keep gold in a box and be able to point at it and say, see, gold bad, dollar good, they've had to, to just sit on silver with paper contracts that are completely unbacked. Um, I mean, they, they came out in the early 2000s with the ETFs. And if you read their prospectus, do they really need to buy any silver or any gold? No, they can be 100% contracts and still be following the prospectus. So they don't have to have physical metal to control the price. They're doing it through paper contracts on COMEX, CME. And if you look at what's going on in Shanghai, there's what, a three, four, five dollar premium of silver there versus silver here. And what's happening is you're getting an arbitrage where silver is being uh, depleted from the inventories of London, of New York, and it's ending up in Shanghai. And it's interesting to note that uh, the Shanghai inventory of silver just dropped. Uh, I think they're, they're less than a thousand tons now. That's the lowest it's been for quite a while. Or I think it might be the lowest it's been since they started that market. Long story short, they've had to suppress silver. They cannot let silver look good. They can't get they, they cannot allow the public to stampede into silver because if that happens, then gold blows. And when gold blows, so does the dollar system. The dollar has been weaponized for years and years, and they ra started ratcheting, ratcheting the, the, uh, the weaponization up during the previous administration. Um, and, and now you've got, they basically stole the $300 billion of Russian treasuries, and they're, they're borrowing or using that as collateral to fund Ukraine. So it's been totally weaponized, and there's been pushback. The pushback has been uh, the formation of the BRICS. And we're only two months away from the big BRICS meeting in Russia, and I think that very well could be if you want to call it the, the reverse Bretton Woods moment where the dollar loses, actually loses reserve currency status because they no longer want to trade and use dollars for settlement. And this, the, the amount of dollars that have been used in settlement, that's been, you know, it has been declining, but it's going to go off a cliff. Uh, and especially if they announce a 20 to 40% backing of their new currency, they're calling it the unit. That currency with 20 to 40 percent gold backing, you'll see pure fiat currencies collapse and you'll see the price of gold explode. If we truly had 8,300 tons, I mean, you look, look to the east. I mean, China, China's probably got 35,000 metric tons. I mean, I can show you easily, uh, you know, 25,000 tons. There's no question in my mind that they have that amount. But the U.S. does not have that metal that they can revalue and, if you want to call it, refurbish their balance sheet. Um, they don't have the gold. They don't have, the, you know, there's no big stockpile of silver. At this point, all it is is kick the can down the road. They're trying to pretend and extend. We just had an event, you know, a week and a half ago. Japan's market collapsed. They lost 25% in three days. And I view that as, you know, that's the warning shot of the global margin call that's going to come. And I expect that margin call to come between more than more than likely between now and the election. And we were told that the carry trade was 20 trillion. That's basically on books. Then you got to add the OTC to it. And is the number double? Is it triple? Is it 10 times? 
I mean, is the carry trade really 200 trillion and not 20 trillion? I mean, who knows? But what they're trying to tell us now is that 75% of the carry trade was eliminated in three days. And that is complete bullshit. There is absolutely no way that 20 trillion was unwound. And what took 30 plus years to build up was cleaned up in three days and, and no one died.